Hey, doo doo! Snack ones for Danians. Hey, doo doo doo! How are things, doo doo? So so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said wonderful, but I can't complain. I'm in one piece, not bound to a steak atop a pyre. Yeah. Doo doo, tell me. The halfling Biberveld goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Yeah. Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to Skelligan raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation okay. hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Gotta admit, your manga is a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all that terrible. You understand nothing. A doctor okay. assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's feet. Jesus. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone. And immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. Ever considered leaving? Forgetting Novigrad altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Famine's not kicked at our door. Not that the future's looking rosy. But you don't have to be human. Maybe you could try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. Well, I'm not really a human. Take care well, of yourself. I suppose I was, but... Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. <laughs> Hello, Dandelion. For you, my friend, How you doing? Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? Oh, you fuck promised you. to show your butterfly collection too. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average run of the mill girl. Have to give her a smile, notice her shoes, let her chat about them a bit. And she turned into a wellspring of passion. Hmm. Yeah, where did you meet? You and Priscilla meet. Huh. It was at the court of Duke Herbert, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the final. Who won? Well, I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. Did you? And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. You like her? You gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley, poor son senior himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. Okay. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. Nice. Got a portrait of Hierarch Hemelford I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes. Those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm. Wonderful. I put this up at the Rosemary in time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. Cool. See you, Dandelion. Cool, cool, cool. Let's 
this arena, I think we're, uh, I have to, uh, I'm gonna buy a prop sword. I mean, I think I'm, I think I'm helping um, Dandelion build up a cabaret, but. Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well. Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Oh, so nice. Bloodthirsty tyrant. Assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Mm -hmm. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Oh, you remind me of uh, Dame Judith Ench. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Okay. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with him. Voila. Thanks. I'll try not to did, damage did it. Did she say Voila? So long. I suppose that makes sense. Why would there be French accents? I mean, why would they be using French wars? Never mind. Too complicated. Um, fantasy Hello, worlds are complicated. I am lost. Shit. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. <laughs> Sophronia you piss me off, man. Filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes. If I can just save her from a bandit, I'll have her eating out of my You're hand. You're a scoundrel. And there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Hmm. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you want to say <laughs> Here, Andromas, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia is coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble. And hair wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. Idiot. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Oh, Jesus, you're a terrible actor. Silence, vermin. You shall regret the day you were born. Uh, uh, better than I thought. I've been hit. Ow! To the house, quickly. He shan't get us there. Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be. Did I do something wrong? Will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? Oh no. I shall flee. This is so dumb. Just hopped out for the smoke. Can I find Zoltan? Because I kind of want to. I want to know if he's good with money. There's been now. a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in, and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. 
But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See, it's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm, what are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gavin, you've known him long. No, you, you Say know. Something. You know that. Uh. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Yeah. Mm. Both our lives have revolved around the stage. And Cabaret's a form of theatre, in a way. Fine. Let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, At least it's a you're choice. done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Well, true enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who worked for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly oh, hope he's not, not into good. trouble. Oh, anything's possible oh, with Dandelion. Uh, you better not have disappeared. Find me, why, why am I still wearing the, the prop sword? No, no, no. No. Yeah. Dandelion, where are you? I mean, this can't be good. He's not sh showing up. I mean, he, he and Priscilla are like perfect for each other. Sorry, what happened here? Do I like that? And a lion. and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get yeah, back. Yeah, don't be an asshole. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait, 
Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Fine. That's fine. I'm not even gonna ask. And you should go go straight. Find anything? Not here. Okay. Not here. Uh. Ah, the key. Cool. Can I get up now? Go. I mean, I can punch you. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my house! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. You need to calm down, man. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. Talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well... There's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but it's open salt it's not a ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of this. Polly's not going anywhere. Yeah. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? He does Your have a way with words. She's a first class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she. Choreographs. You mean to say coin oh, fuck and you. fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose in that case. Really, really little fucker. It's settled then. See you at the rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Sure. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. Yep. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. Yep. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. What? Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait Dude. artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. Sure. I'll go see Rodlick. You head back to the Rosemary. But Priscilla will have my head. Jesus. Really? You go? No. Yeah. Said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. That's not a lot. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Why do you have a sword? Yeah, you're not Rotlick or whatever. Looking for Rotlick. Rotlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. 
There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Oh, you two again. Feeding times, first come, first served. Do I have to kill you again? You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Yeah, Fred. Let's go, Fred. Come on! I cannot? I can't, I can't. Come on. Why is nothing working, though? Really, I can't, can't use signs? I can't do much without signs. Pow, pow, pow. Just attack me, man. Yep. Both of you are done. Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. Just fuck off. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. That is the Vagal Bar the Vagal Bar estate. Really? See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away. Can I not steal from you anyway? Who do I need to meet? You in a hurry. That was gross. <laughs> Hey. You Rodlick. Henri Rodlick. Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. There's a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I met them. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. Now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Yeah. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. Mm. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up. Get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Shit. Uh, yeah, I'll win the race for you, man. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me. Win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You were that good a rider. Far from the worst. Sure. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. Yeah, let me save first. Yeah. I'ma fuck you up, man. Nah, nah. Nah. See? See, son? What do you think this is, son? Shit, son. Yeah, no, no, no. You're not gonna pass me. What are you even saying? Jesus. My horse has got stamina. It's really not about speed. I don't think I can improve my horse's speed, but I can certainly improve his stamina. Stamina. Yep. Done. Buggy fucking game. I, I couldn't. I couldn't gallop the first the first time I tried this. It Thank just didn't you. work. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Cool. Ooh. Oh, 
this, this, this is looking good. I told you. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. This looks really good. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. Priscilla picked them. Well, I must admit, you have great taste. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. What's the chameleon? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Okay. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We have it. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Calm down. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Something's gonna happen. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Yeah. Why not? That's my boy. What's with the owl, though? The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And she say anything about me? said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. Yeah, she really likes you, Matt. And you really like her. Oh, this is sweet. This is actually sweet. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? What do you mean? That's totally your M.O. 